In this video, I have a whole bunch of huge new information involving the trading system in Adopt Me. So recently, Adopt Me said on YouTube on their official channel some big changes that are coming to trading. So in this video, I'll be telling you guys what those changes are, what it's probably going to look like, and what I think will happen. I'm going to try to stream during the update, so if you want to see a very epic stream during the update, then uh, subscribe with notifications on, and also because well, I'm gonna do more Adopt Me videos is a good idea. So I'm pretty sure Adopt Me has always had four trading slots. So you can put four items on your side and the person you're trading with can also put four items on their side. But a huge change is going to happen. They're going to make it so that there are more trading slots. I don't know how much more. I'm assuming probably around six to eight, maybe even more. They might even change the trading menu a bit. Imagine if like there were infinite trading slots and every time you added an item, it just expanded the trading menu and then you could add a whole bunch of items but in my opinion i think there are probably going to be six or eight slots by the way i don't know if you guys are interested but i found a way to kind of like control where your pet goes and stuff like you can walk your pet using the arrow keys and just like control your pet only it's kind of interesting so i'm going to do a video on that later but like i'm just going to send my alt a trade request then i'll show you guys what it will most likely look like after the update happens Okay, so right now, this is the trading menu, and this is what I think the trading menu will look like whenever the trading update releases. Keep in mind, this is just an edit and not an actual thing that will be in the game, but it will probably look similar to this, if not almost exactly like this. But yeah, that's probably what it's going to be, six trading slots, and then it's going to look exactly the same, just with a couple more trading slots. It could be possible that there will be more, or they might do their trading menu differently and have it like entirely different from what I think it will look like. But I also put at Tantrical on it so that people know like it's not real and that I made it and stuff. But anyways, so yeah, that's what it will probably look like. But it's possible for them to change the trading menu entirely and also maybe even the inventory menu. So I'm thinking the trading menu, they might make it differently so that maybe it is a way larger box and then the inventory is on the side so you have more room to see what pets you have to trade and maybe they might do something like that or they could possibly just make it exactly the same except the menu is bigger and then you can have a whole bunch of more slots. There are so many options for things they could do in this update but that was just what I think they would do. But this might be the biggest update in Adopt Me history, because, like, I don't think they've ever had any slots different from, like, only four. I don't know if there was less a long time ago, but I think it's always been four, so this could possibly be, like, the biggest Adopt Me update ever. Now, of course, they're doing this so that people are able to trade more, because right now, if you look at the rules of trading, it says don't do trades where you give multiple items, then you can fit in the trading menu. So like that's because people just try to scam by doing that because some people are like hey i have this rare pet and if you give me other pets then and then you do it in like two trades then i'll give you the rare pet and then they give them the rare pets and then they give them the other one for the next trade but then they never end up actually giving the pet so don't fall for those scams because like people fall for those kind of a lot because they want to trade for it. I even fell for it once. Like, don't do those trades where people say they have something really big and they want you to offer things that you would have to put in multiple trade windows or give something first and expect something after. Only do the trade whenever all of the items are in the trading menu and you're guaranteed to get it. Because then other than that, you're probably going to be scammed. But this is going to kind of fix big trades. Because you know how right now, whenever you want to trade for like a Mega or a Neon Legendary, sometimes you don't really have that much. And to do a fair trade, you have to put like a lot of stuff. And let's say you just have maybe 8 Legendaries. And then there's a Neon Legendary worth those 8 Legendaries. But then you couldn't do that trade right now because you'd have to put it in like two different windows. But after this, you're going to be able to put it in one window, or probably all of those in one window. Wait, I don't know why when I'm fighting them, they're like going into the ground. That's kind of weird. 
But uh, anyways, there are going to be more trading slots, and it's going to be very, very convenient to trade. You're going to be able to put so much in trades, and you're just going to be able to do bigger trades. Like, you can trade a lot of small stuff for something really big, or something really big for a lot of small stuff. But this is just going to be such a nice update. The next part of the update makes me kind of worried though, so Adopt Me said along with adding more trading slots, they're going to add a trading license. So a license is basically something you have to apply for, and then if you get accepted, you can do the thing. So hopefully that's not what the trading license is, where you have to apply for being able to trade, and then if you get accepted then you can trade, because that would be very inconvenient, like they'd probably have to hire people and make sure you're trading legit and stuff. I mean that would probably stop all of the scammers, because the scammers would have their trading license taken, and then... Uh, there wouldn't really be any more scammers in Adopt Me. I guess people could still make alts though and scam. Or maybe they might do something where the trading license, everyone has it. And then if someone does something sus like scam or acts like they're going to scam, then they could lose their trading license. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. It could be something different altogether. Like maybe if you get a trading license, you can have more slots. I don't know. But just since a license is something you have to like, apply for, and then if you get it, then you can do something. I hope that it's not like you have to apply to actually trade, though. But doing that would kind of completely stop scammers, so I guess that could be good. But, like, it's gonna make trading super inconvenient if they do that. Also, Adopt Me said they are going to be releasing more information this week. So whenever they do that, I'm probably going to do another video on what they said they're doing, and probably make some more predictions and just say what I think about it. But right now, I'm really liking what they have planned for this update. Right now, we only know about the more trading slots and also the trading license, so there could possibly be a lot more. Well, they did say that there's going to be a lot more, but I'm not sure how much more. But whenever there is more, I'll probably do a video on that too. But yeah, this trading update is going to be very nice. It might even have some bigger stuff than multiple trading slots, so this could be named something else, but I think it's probably going to be called the trading update. They didn't say the actual release date of the update, but the Halloween event is ending in seven days, and that is a Wednesday. So it's going to be Wednesday whenever the Halloween event ends, and it's going to be after this week though. So like they're going to reveal more information about the update, and then it's going to be Wednesday the next week whenever all of the Halloween stuff is removed. So it's possible for them to do an update then, like remove all of the Halloween stuff, and also have the update whenever they do the update removing the Halloween stuff. But like they might do it on a Friday or a Saturday or Sunday, because those are like their most common update days I think. So like there are many possibilities for this update, but I'm assuming it's probably going to be around late next week. Anyways, I'm very hyped for this update. Comment hype if you're also hyped for it, because like this update is going to be super big and like super good. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more Adopt Me videos and streams. Like the video, and I'll see you all next video.